Hi traders, welcome to this video. Today I want to show you my favorite quotes from Mark Douglas. But before we come to the quotes, please take a few seconds to read this risk disclaimer. So this video is only for educational pupils. It's no investment advice. So you are responsible for your own decisions regarding investment and trading. Yeah, before we come to the quotes, um, let's talk a minute about why quotes are so important for me. If you follow me on social media like Twitter and Instagram, um, you see that I post a lot of quotes and a lot of quotes images. And I personally use quotes to build my mindset because the quotes that I'm reading uh, regularly and that um, and the quotes I'm thinking about they are deeply engraved in my brain and they are very short and they are very yeah they are very short and you can remind them um, uh, very good and this is why quotes for me plays or plays so uh, a high or important role so I can remember them very quickly. They transport a lot of um, information in a very, very short sentence. And Mark Douglas is one of my favorite authors when it comes to um, trading psychology. And um, he wrote two very famous books. The first one is Trading in the Zone and the second one a little bit yeah, more more or less unknown is the disciplined trader and both books are very very good um, if you want to learn more about high performance trading um, in regard of mindset and also in regard of psychology he wrote um, three other books so the little book of trading performance becoming the disciplined trader and the complete uh, trader I didn't um, read those three books, but if they are as good as the um, yeah as the first ones, they are definitely um, worth to read. And Mark Douglas is one of my favorite um, also authors when it comes to psychology quotes, and you will see that in a minute. And I will give my interpretation um, about the quotes. Um, from Mark Douglas. Here is one of the first ones. Um, the first step on the road to trading success is to understand and completely accept the psychological, uh, psychological realities of trading. And um, all the quotes and all the books he wrote are about um, that topic. Okay, so let's jump into the first uh, quote. The consistency you seek is in your mind, not in the markets. A great quote from Mark Douglas. And there are two or three parts inside this quote. And I will uh, go with you through them. So the first one is consistency. You know, every trader strives for consistency, consistent results, consistent performance, consistent execution of the trading system. This is a road to success, to repeat your edge over and over and over again. Very consistent, a little bit like a robot, but not in a statical way, but more in a way that you, um, yeah, that you consistently follow your rules, which lead to the edge or to your personal edge in trading. The second part is in your mind. And here is, uh, yeah, here is the part from Mark Douglas about trading psychology. So it's all about mind, consistency and mind, uh, two parts which are very close together. So when you want to reach consistency, start with your mindset. Don't start with the markets because the markets, and this is the third part here, the markets are never consistent. They change every day, every second. They are volatile. Sometimes they trend. Sometimes they have very volatile trends. So there is no consistency in the markets. 
And the only thing is that you approach the markets with a consistent execution and a consistent um, rule set um, so that you can generate consistent results. And the first step is that you um, that you understand that consistency in trading and application uh, or in execution of your trading rules is the first step to success. And that all starts with your mind. If you do not, if you do not uh, think that the consistency is so important and that you really have the discipline to consistent follow your rules and execute your rules, you will not become successful. And this type of consistency, you can only create that type of consistency in your mind because the markets will never give you this or that type of consistency you need here. So start with your mind. Understand why consistency is so important. And then build the right mindset so that you follow your rules every day every day with a long term uh, with a long term view so thinking about the next thousand trades when you apply your rules consistently and not the next two or three trades so this is all about your mindset and this is my interpretation of this quote from mark douglas so the next quote if you ask me to distill trading down to its simplest form, I would say that it is a pattern recognition numbers game. So I think the last part is the most important of this quote. It's pattern recognition numbers game. These four words um, yeah, have very different or have, or um, yeah, these these four words are the most important in this uh, quote. And let's let's go through it uh, word by word. So pattern, of course, he's he's referring to chart patterns or patterns in data. So and recognition, of course, you see those patterns in the numbers and also in the charts. So pattern recognition. Numbers, of course, he re he's referring to statistics. So that he says, okay, it's all about your average gain. It's all about your average, um, your average loss, and it's all about your hit rate. So these statistical numbers create your edge, and um, the type of of, uh, of or, or your own trading is based on those numbers. And you must have these numbers in your um, in your focus. So recognize your patterns, and with those statisticals um, like average profit, average loss, and hit rate, it becomes a unit. So a link between the pattern recognition or patterns itself and the numbers. And the, the word game is also important. And if you read about traders, they regularly um, refer to playing a game when they talk about trading. So a game is always linked to words like, um, like winning, for example, like challenge, like being the best in the game. And also that here in this quote, not the profit or the money is in focus. No, it's a game with rules you can play. And um, the, the, the result of the game or, or the end of the game is win or lose. It's not money or something. So it's more like playing a game with rules. And you have the in, inside those rules, you have those patterns and those patterns have numbers so like statistics like win rate like average profit average loss so that's all about what mark douglas want to say here so that it's a pattern recognition numbers game 
And I think this game, this this word game is so so important here because I read it a lot of time that that uh, super traders and you will find those um, also in, in market visit books, for example, that they always say they see trading as a game and not as something where you get excitement or where you get or what, what is a job or something. No, it's really a game with um, with rules and you can the, be the best in this game. Okay, so let's look at the next one. The best traders think differently from the from the rest. This is a quote which is not so easy to interpret, but I try my best or I give you my interpretation from that. You know, when you when you when you look at the quote and you see here best traders, so this is highly subjective and highly yeah, it's, it's relative. You know, best traders are not always the traders with the best performance in the end because it always depends on the goal you have. You know, if you're a hedge fund manager, for example, um, and maybe you're, you're or the best trader in a hedge fund manager uh, business is um, a hedge fund which produce the lowest volatility and not the highest returns, for example. So best traders is, is very subjective. And think differently from the rest means, okay, they separate themselves from the masses or from, from, yeah, from, from the other traders. And I think this is true because the best traders always approach the markets with, first of all, an own approach, so a personal approach, but also see things differently than the other market participants. So, for example, the most people are, are trading on the stock exchange because of money. Of course, the best traders are doing that too, but their focus is much more on the process. You know, when, when, when we talk about, or oh, I talked about that a few minutes ago when I talked about the word game in a relation to trading. This is re really, uh, this is really the same. So, when a, when, a, when a trader is process focused instead of money focus, he will do decisions based on the process and based on the long term outcome of the process and not on the short term reward. So like I made 500 US dollar per day. So but also the, the best traders think, think differently from the rest. It also um, relates, for example, to what they are trading. You know, the best traders, they follow their system for years and years and years. They don't care about the newest fashion in trends and the, uh, in, in trading and the newest indicators and, or even the newest trading instruments. You know, there are so many traders out there who are so successful and never touched cryptocurrencies, for example. So and the new the newbies, the traders with um yeah with only a few years of experience they they dabble in in every instrument they dabble in every stock they do not have any consistent stock selection criteria, and this is really uh, my interpretation when it comes to this quote. So the best traders they are different from the masses because they do not they do not have the same um, same approach and the same thinking um, like um, like the newbies and like the masses. And um, of course, this is definitely based on experience. You should never underestimate experience in trading. Um, and, and over time, they build their own trading identity or trading uh, personality. Um, by overcoming one mistake after one mistake but you should never never uh, underestimate that that really traders who are very successful have their own um their own uh, approach and their own thinking and they do not follow any fashion and any trend what we see in the in the stock market or in the trading world in general 
Okay, another one. Understanding yourself is synonymous with understanding the markets because as a trader, you are part of the collective force that moves prices. This is a great quote from Mark Douglas. So the most important part is here understanding yourself, understanding the markets. And my interpretation is very easy. It's all about humans. You are a human as a trader and the market itself consists of humans. And humans come together here maybe directly or in form of a uh, of a trading bot or whatever. So but they come together, they programmed the trading bots and they come together in the marketplace and all the the, the emotions like like fear and greed and also expectations and hope etc they come together and you as a human you know these emotions so and this is why you can understand the markets you know you are greedy you are uh, you are afraid you have expectations you have hopes etc and the charts and all the buying and selling activity in the markets, they represent um, those feelings. And this is why understanding yourself is synonymous with understanding the markets. So when you understand your own emotions, you can understand the market. Of course, as an experienced trader, you can control or yeah, you control can control those emotions or you find rules and, and processes to handle those type of emotion. But if you understand that, what drives the market and what also drives your own decisions, it's much, much more easier to understand um, the markets. Okay, so the next one. When you genuinely accept the risks, you will be at peace with any outcome. This is a very, very deep quote, in my opinion. When you really accept the risks, you will be at peace with any outcome. This is a very, very deep and very powerful statement. And it's, it's not so easy to to really understand or to really live um, those or this principle because accepting the risks uh, in trading is very very hard to do of course you see the number and you see a loss and you see the risks but really to accepting them so that you when you put on a trade that you say okay this trade can fail and i lost 500 uh, US dollar, for example, that you really accept that and that you are not surprised or not touched um, when the scenario will come true. This is absolutely um, difficult. This is really, really hard um, to do. So because the emotions take over and um, when you really see the risks and with risk, I, I don't mean only monetary risk. It can also be, for example, opportunity risk. So when I take uh, trade A and not trade B, and trade B is the winner instead of trade A, I also feel um, maybe bad about that. So, Or, for example, when I'm in cash and the market uh, rallies and I'm standing on the sidelines, that was the opportunity risk when I decided to go to cash. And this is really to accept this risk and to, to have the risk consciously in your mind when you're making a decision in the market is really difficult. I, I know nobody who is 100% at peace with any outcome. This is, um, from my understanding, this is, this is why we are humans, because we have emotions. And the only thing is that we can build 
processes and that we can build rules about that to have our control uh, to have our emotions in control and over time with more and more and more experience and when you detach yourself from money and look more on the trading process and when it becomes your goal to execute your trading process as best as possible instead of looking at every profit and loss then you will over time more and more and more accept that every decision you make in trading has risk involved and over time you you come much much more in peace with any outcome but of course there are also surprises and then you will uh, feel emotions about that but i personally think this this is really something where what you should strive for as a trader so accepting that every decision has a risk and that you are yeah or that, that you um, be at peace with any outcome because you have no influence about the outcome so the market will give you what the market will give you so this is nothing you can control so maybe you can control the loss but you never can control the profit okay another one the best traders treat trading like a numbers game similar to the way in which casinos and professional gamblers approach gambling here it is again so the word numbers and game so we had it uh, some quotes before and um, it's all about trading edge you know when you go to a casino they know exactly um, their edge every game you play with probabilities uh, can be expressed as an edge and um, a casino for example has a very thin edge but over millions and millions players in the casino they will generate a very very huge um, profit and also professional gamer, uh, gamblers so um, they also follow systems so they follow um, specified systems when when you or when they are doing sports betting or when they play uh, poker or whatever and they can also express their system in a mathematical uh, formula uh, to 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 make the edge visible and the edge always always consists of three components i made a video about that so you can see that in my youtube videos and a uh, youtube channel and the edge always consists of three components average profit average loss and win rate or hit rate and um, this is this is a principle behind casinos this is a principle behind also normal businesses but also from professional gamblers and the best traders really are always focused on these three um, numbers so they try to achieve their average gain or average profit with every trade they do so Marco Minavini for example he said that over and over again that he becomes very very defensive as soon as one of his trades reached the average profit in his trading and also the average loss so you try to keep the average loss as small as possible um, so that the average profit and the or the average profit is higher than the average loss and then you have the win rate of course the win, win rate is always going up and always going down so it's not very consistent um, but over over a series of hundreds of trades it is a very consistent hit rate and um, you know when, when, when you for example see a trader who has a hit rate of 40 percent and you look at that and say okay you are losing in 60 percent of your trades and you only make money with 40 percent of your trades it still can be a very profitable trading system and this is the same for example with professional gamblers which have a very or a much lower hit rate 
and also casinos which have a much higher hit rate so for example but their average profit is um is um, much much smaller as the average loss so but they have a very very high hit rate because they win don't know a lot of games when they play against their customers so and traders or the best traders what mark douglas is he said they are always focused on the numbers and the numbers of their approach and the statistics to make sure that the that they have a consistency in their statistics over a long series of trades okay so another one the first step is to embrace the responsibility and stop expecting the market to give you anything or do anything for you taking responsibility is the cornerstone of a winning attitude i think there there is one very important um, part in the sentence and this is stop expecting the markets to give you anything or to do anything for you i know that uh, i know from from discussions with uh, traders on social media and via email um i know that they always or that a lot of them have something like an expectation that the market that the market um is not giving them as anything but um that they have an ex um, expectancy how the market should behave so they try to predict something and they also see the markets very often as something like a th like a person so that the market is beating them or the market takes um, profits away or that they are giving back something to the markets and um, of course sometimes we say uh, we say uh, sentences like oh i'm giving profits back to the market or something but you must really detach you from uh, from the market the market for me for personally when i have a picture in my mind about the market it's nothing like a stream it's a stream so like a river it's a stream of buying and selling so it's only numbers and they are only there and the stream is endless so and when i personally look as a trader on the stream of buying and selling i see patterns and they are represented by the chart and i can re react to those patterns and those information but i don't have any expectancy about the market of course i have scenarios in my mind how the markets can behave or should behave or something but i don't have any expectation that the market should provide me a profit or that i'm working so hard and the market should reward that or something if you if you really have that uh, mindset um you are really on the wrong path because you how you react to the market and how you act to the stream of buying and selling um this is important and that's what also mark douglas uh, said here with responsibility so you are responsible for all your decisions and uh, you should not blame the markets you should not blame the the broker or anything so and you sh should really stop expecting the market to do anything you know the the markets or the market itself will not turn around the stock where you are invested so they they will not stop the losses for you they will not um provide profits or whatever so this is something or well, this is something which is in your responsibility to react in the right uh, way to the market and to accept what the market is giving you and how the market's behaved and not trade against them or being aggressive when when the market is not um yeah rewarding your um your trading strategy and i think especially this this party in this quote so says stop expecting the markets to give you anything or to do anything for you this is really really important so see yourself 
in focus. Yourself as a trader, yourself with all your buying and selling decisions and only see the market as something which is only there and only existing but not doing anything. Okay, so um, let's look at that quote here. So a wonderful quote. Um, when the internal struggle ends, everything becomes easy. So it's so easy to say and so easy to read and it's so difficult to do. The internal struggle Internal struggle is always in relation to uncertainty. So when you are uncertain as a trader, uncertain about your own skills, about your own abilities, and also about the, the edge of your trading system, when this in uncertainty is away, so when, 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 when this struggle inside yourself ends everything becomes easy so when you can rely on yourself as a trader when you have enough confidence and you say okay i'm able to produce profits i know that i know that from my past uh, trades and from my past or from my statistics and i know that because i back tested my trading uh, strategy and um, then everything becomes much 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 more easier because you can trust yourself, you can trust the trading system. And when I look at especially new traders, they do not have any back-tested trading systems or something. They have maybe some rules and they, tr they, always, they always change the rules and uh, depending on their few past experiences. Um, but professional traders or yeah the best traders what mark douglas always say they have back tested uh, trading systems so they sat down weeks and hours and months and even years to make sure that their trading system is working or worked in the past and they had built up a lot of experience and statistics and trade records so that they really can rely on themselves you know, if you know, if you really, really know that your trading w would be successful or were successful in the last 20 years and you see the same types of patterns over and over again, also in real time, so then you become much, much uh, more confident about that. And when you now then put capital on the line and you make trades and you see that or you see positive results then you become much much more confident and that will help you to make the things much easier for you so work on the struggle thing this is really important to uh, to work on not only the confidence but to convince yourself that your trading is working this is really important Okay, that, that were my um, favorite quotes um, from Mark Douglas. I know that that was not an easy video, but for me personally, I, I, I really personally think that reading quotes and also discussing and thinking about quotes um, helps to build a mindset. And um, understanding the quotes and really have them in your mind and so that you can call them up again when you are thinking about trading and when you are looking at charts and your own system and when you have um, some drawdowns on uh, or even some some good um, profitable streaks so that will help you a lot and that's why I'm, I'm personally having, I think, 800 or 900 trading quotes uh, in my personal collection. And when you go to, the, to my Instagram page, you can see them all. Okay, um, I hope that you like this video. And um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down and write a feedback. If you have any questions or want to discuss something, uh, write a comment here on YouTube. 
Um, you can, of course, follow me here on YouTube and also on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram with all the quotes. I personally recommend to subscribe to my free newsletter so you get also my free ebook, um, my personal 25 lessons of the stock market when you subscribe um, to my newsletter.